G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. When you think of Australia, a number of products come to mind and one of those are Tim Tams. They're an incredibly delicious little biscuit that everyone loves. But I'm going to put my own little spin on it today and make something that you can make in your own country. So join me today as I make my version of a Tim Tam cake. Now we're going to start this cake recipe off by creaming our butter and sugar. So into a mixing bowl we're going to place in our caster sugar or super fine sugar. And as always I'll leave a list of ingredients in the description below. And then to that our softened butter. Now we're going to mix this on low for about four to five minutes until it's nice and creamy. Now as you can see our butter sugar mixture is nice and creamy. So to that we're going to pour in three eggs in total but we're going to do one at a time and we're going to beat them in one at a time and once they're completely mixed through we're going to add the second one and the third one. Okay next I have a bowl with a sifter on top. So to that we're going to add in one and a half cups of soft raising flour then half a cup of plain flour, then half a teaspoon of bicarb soda, and finally three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder. And now we're just going to sift that all through into the bowl to, so we can get out all the lumps. Okay, so back to our wet ingredients. We're going to add in half of our sifted flour mixture. Now if you're using a hand mixer, just use a wooden spoon to mix this through. But because I'm using a stand mixer, you can, you can use the paddle, but do it on a low speed. And that's the same as folding it through. So with a wet mixture, we're going to add in half a cup of milk. And we're just going to fold that through just for a few seconds, just until it's combined. Okay, now that that's just combined, we're going to add in the rest of our flour mixture. And half a cup of water. And again, we're just going to fold that through just for a few seconds until it's just combined. Okay, so next I have two loaf pans here, and I've just lined them with some non-stick baking paper and given them a bit of a grease. So we're just going to simply e and evenly divide our mixture between both our cake pans. And the reason why I'm using cake pans is it gives the same shape as a Tim Tam. Okay, next we're going to place these into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes, just until when you stick a wooden skewer in there, they come out clean. Okay, so I've just taken our cakes out of the oven now. I'm going to let them cool down for about an hour or so. But while they're cooling down, we're going to make up our chocolate ganache. So into a mixing bowl here, I've placed 300 ml of thickened cream. And to that, we're going to pour in 400 grams or about two and a half cups worth of chocolate chips. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this into the microwave. I'm going to place it in on high for 30 seconds at a time, stirring each time until all the chocolate is nicely melted and combined with the cream. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place this into the fridge for about 10 to 20 minutes just to give it a chance to cool down and thicken up. Okay, so while our chocolate ganache is cooling in the fridge, now we're going to work on our chocolate filling. So I've got 200 grams or one cup's worth of chocolate chips. And just like the previous chocolate, I'm going to place this in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time, stirring each time until it's melted. So into a mixing bowl, we're going to place in our softened butter. Now using a hand mixer or a stem mixer, we're going to beat this butter until it comes up nice and creamy. Okay, now that we've creamed our butter, into that mixing bowl we're going to place in three cups of icing sugar or powdered sugar. Into that two tablespoons of milk. And two tablespoons of malted milk. And this is important because it really does help the flavour. And we're going to mix this all through on low until it's well combined. Okay, now that that's all mixed through, we're going to pour in our melted chocolate. And again, we're gonna mix it through until it's well combined. Okay, so I have one of our cakes here. Now, all I have to do now is just simply place our filling on top of this cake. Okay, once the filling is on the cake and all spread out and nice and even, just gonna grab our second cake and just place it on top. Now, I've just taken it out of the fridge and that leaves one step and that's to pour on our chocolate ganache. And we're just going to evenly spread it throughout the cake. Okay, so once the entire cake is covered in that chocolate ganache, we're going to place it in the fridge for about an hour to completely set. Okay, so I've taken it out of the fridge, the ganache is set, and there we have our Tim Tam cake. Now as cakes go, there are a few extra ingredients, but in the end, it's going to be worth it because it's going to taste very similar to an actual Tim Tam but just in cake form. 
Now if you have access to Tim Tams, feel free to crush some up and add them to the filling. But either way, if you can buy Tim Tams in your country or not, this Tim Tam cake is going to taste simply delish. So this definitely is a different take on an old Australian favourite that anyone on any country can make. So thank you for watching this episode of Tot's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favour by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.